Okay, welcome back to uh, the second part of this tutorial. Okay guys, um, what we do now is we're going to add some shading effects to it. Uh, again, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to simply draw... Um, I'm going to make a, a frame around this area over here and we're going to shade use the gradient tool and then transparency tool. So we're going to use a Bezier tool and we're going to zoom in, start making the... Okay, we're going to need something like this. And I'll make it uh, something like this. All right, we can uh, adjust the nose a little bit in a minute. Good, all right. Uh, let's see if it uh, can add some fill into it. Yeah, now we, do, we want to get rid of this line here, this protruding corner. So press F12 and just simply make it round here, so round cap. A round cap and round edges. So we take that off. And we don't want it, uh, we want a hairline. I'd like to work with hairline all the time. So here it, we can add a dark color. And just simply use the, <clears throat> the transparency tool. So from left to right. Okay, it gives it a little bit of shade there. You see that? Okay. And obviously you can toggle with it. So you don't want to see this line. You want to try to avoid seeing the line there. All right. Okay. Move this a little bit towards the, towards the right and the left. Okay. Just as uh, long as you like. Okay. Now we're going to make another one for the for inside this. Now this can't be seen, but we're going to still make it nonetheless. So it's nice and dark around here. So again, using the Bezier tool. I'm going to start from here and work my way around. Like so. Okay, just uh, move this up a bit. Alright. Okay. Now, this is going to be, this is going to go underneath, so you don't have to make it that exact. Okay, here we go. So, goes all the way up. Right. Again, nice and dark. Transparency tool. This actually goes the other way round. I was just about to say, it, this goes uh, right to left. Okay. Try to get a bit of this. Now we want this to go behind. So. There we go. Nice. Right. Uh, take this out a little bit so they know that... Uh, there's actually shade going on there. Oh, I see what's going on here. This has to go on top a little bit. There we go. And... Okay. Right. Now, if you have a look at... Um, if you have a look at the flag, you'll see there are two waves. Here it goes up, sorry, here it goes down, and here it goes up. The same thing here. This over here goes up, and over here you can see it goes down. So we want to look for, locate the parts that go down, and do the same thing we just did over here. So we're just going to, uh, again, use the Bezier tool. 
and trace part of it. Okay, just it doesn't need to be that exact. Okay. Right. Press C for cusp. And uh, run about here. Let's move this a bit. Hang on. Okay, right. So we've got something like this. So once once we've, we've done that, and once we've uh, got a little frame here. We can make, we can start making some changes to it. Um, we don't want this to be completely, squ uh, you know, a line diagram here because uh, it, it looks a little bit unnatural. So we're, we're going to um, make this all uh, curved here, including this one, and we're going to play around with it, adding some random. Uh, corners and and curves to it, like so. Okay, we're going to cover this black, and we're going to give it a 50% transparency, which is uh, appropriate. We're going to do the same thing with this part, this side over here. So again, we look for the the area where it sort of goes in <coughs> like that uh, okay and uh, wait a minute hang on let's go back and just join it here so black Transparency, if you want to go this way, it says normal. I'm going to make it uh, 50%. Hang on. We want it to be uniformed. So, uniform transparency to 50. Okay, and again, just doing things the other way around here. But, uh, <coughs> make sure they're all the nodes are all curved. Add some curves to it. Right. Try to remove all the. Uh, try to remove all the straight lines from it. Okay. Cuts. Okay. And uh, right. This is cusp, but we don't want a cusp. Here we go. Okay, uh, this could go in a little bit here. This could go out like so. And this could go a little bit in. All right. Okay, so remove the lines. Remove the guidelines here. Okay. Um, and select the entire flag, or the flag. Right click here to remove all the lines. And there you have the flag. Group it. Now you can do whatever you like with it. Okay. Well, I hope you liked this part of the tutorial. I'm going to now add a mast, um, or a flag post rather, so that I can attach the flag. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, drop me a line if you um, want to make any sort of comments. And I appreciate any, any kind of feedback. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.